Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm creating a summer scene using some Happy Doodle products today. So this is going to be for the current Happy Doodle challenge, which is anything goes, so you can do whatever you like. So today I'm using You Go Gull stamp set. Um, I'm using some bits from A Little Shellfish, the Build a Cabin die, and I went ahead and stamped out my images. Now I didn't use all of these. I didn't end up using any of the shellfish. I just used the gulls and some of the little accessories. So what I'm doing is I'm coloring in the stripes on the wings in N8. And then I'm gonna go ahead and color in the seagull's wings in N4 and N2. Um, and as I say, I'm creating this card for the Heffy Doodle um, challenge. It's on Facebook. And the challenge at the moment is anything goes. So you can choose whatever you like um, to create. You could do anything from a Christmas card, a birthday card, a thank you card, whatever. Anything goes. So I kind of felt inspired to do something summery. Um, I wanted to work with the season this time. And I've been in a little bit of a crafting slump, mostly because I just haven't had time to get into my craft room lately. Um, so I really wanted to um, join in this challenge and try and do something creative in my craft room um, because, like I say, I've been quite busy. It's been hard to get in here and do anything lately. Um, and I kind of have felt a little bit... Um, not demotivated, but, but just struggling to find some inspiration. So I wanted to try and create something today. <laughs> and I just felt like doing something summery because it's very hot here at the moment. And um, it's very much beachy weather at the moment. So um, I pulled out some stamp sets that I haven't actually used yet. So these, um, these stamp sets I've had for a little while, but I haven't had a chance to use. And I really wanted to have a play around with them. Uh, and so that's just what I went with. Um, so for the seagull's bodies, I'm using um, N0 and the Colorless Blender. I want them to look white, but I'm just creating a little bit of um, shadow to them so that they don't look completely stark white and flat, because if you don't add any shadow, it makes them look really, really flat. And this just gives them a little bit of dimension. Um, so I didn't really have a plan today as, as I often don't if you watch my videos you know that I don't often have a plan um, but I just wanted to create something that was um, as I say summary I wanted to use these stamp sets that I've not used before so I just pulled these stamp sets out stamped a load of images out and then kind of took it from there uh, for the beaks and feet of my seagulls I'm using Y35 and Y38 uh, just to add a little bit of color onto these guys. And then when I'm finished coloring these parts in, I will add R20 to their little cheeks or to create a little cheek on them. Um, so as I say, I pulled these stamps out. I didn't end up using the shellfish. There wasn't enough room on my card. So I think I'll keep them and use them for another card another day. Um, so I just kind of thought I'd go with the gulls. So I haven't shown any of the coloring of the shellfish. I've just kept that off um but i've used r29 r27 r24 and r22 for the little crab and i'm using those same colors on my bucket so i wanted some kind of nice bright beach accessories with my bucket and spade and um so i chose these nice bright red colors for this bucket um so as i say i i ended up cutting everything out i ended up coloring everything out but I didn't use these little um, cute little shellfish. They are very cute, but I think they probably deserve a card of their own. So I'm gonna keep them and use them again in the future. Um, but as I, I didn't have a plan. I just, I just wanted to do something, <laughs> um, something creative today. So um, I just went ahead and stamped out. And sometimes I do that, I just, just kind of look at what I've got, stamp some images out, color them in. And as I'm coloring, some inspiration will come to me and I think, oh, I know what I'll do, I'll do this. Um, so often that's how my creative process works. I don't always have a plan. Sometimes I do, I know exactly what I'm gonna do and I um, have it all worked out in my head. Um, but that's quite rare for me actually. <laughs> uh, 
um, leave me a comment and let me know how you make cards, whether you kind of have a plan before you start or whether you just kind of wing it as you go. Um, I, yeah, I tend to wing it most of the time, but sometimes I do have a plan. So for my little bucket, uh, sorry, for my little spade, I used Y08, Y04 and Y02. And I'm using Y08 and Y02 on the little star on the present and also for the candle fl flame on my little um, sandcastle cake. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And then I'm using the R27 and the R24 for the um, candle itself and for the ribbon around my little box, my little present. And for the present itself, I um, I chose colours that I'd used on my little um, hermit crab there, which is BV31 uh, and 34. And with my little hermit crab, I added a little bit of RV02 to his shell to create that kind of pink tinge. And after I'd cut everything out, I decided I wanted to do the same on the present. So I did add a little bit of RV02 onto the present as well, which you will see later on when I um, show the cutout images. Uh, for my little sandcastle cake, I'm using E31, E33 and E35. And um, with all my colouring today, I always start with my darkest marker then use my mid-tone and blend out to my lightest. If I use more than um, three colours, I just go in that order, so from darkest to lightest, until I've blended out completely. Um, and then I'm using the BV31 and 34 for the kind of icing <laughs> on my sandcastle cake. I don't really know what that's meant to be. I, I kind of thought I'd go with like a little bit of a watery look, so that's why I chose the BV31 and 34. And now just to add some um, detail, I'm creating some dots with my darkest E35 marker that I used just to make it look a little bit more like sand, so a little bit textured. And finally, I'm going in with my white Secura Jelly Roll pen and just adding some white highlight detail to everything, which is something that I also like to do when I create my cards. Um, just to create a little bit of um, a 3D look, a little bit of a shine, and yeah, I just kind of like doing it. So that's what I did. Um, once I'm finished with all of this, I did go ahead and fussy cut these out. I do not have coordinating dies. So I just fussy cut them with my scissors. Um, I would say the trickiest part for these images was actually the little antenna on the crayfish. Um, but I'm not using him anyway, so, um, but that was kind of, it, it's a little bit fiddly, especially if you want to kind of cut around all the way around those antenna, um, it can get a little bit tricky, but other than that, everything was pretty easy to cut out. I did add some little white details, dot details to my sandcastle cake as well. So there you go. You can see all my images have been cut out, ready to go. So I'm just going to set them aside while I work on my background. So I'm taking this Builder Cabin die and I've gone ahead and cut it out. So what I did, I cut out the main part twice, once from white and once from a dark blue color. And then I just trimmed the stripes on it um, so that I had stripes of blue and I stuck them to the white background. I put a little red heart on there, a little blue doorknob, used the red for the roof and around the door frame and then created my little life preserver using the little die pieces in white and red. So um, it's very, it's a lovely little die and you can make a dog house with it as well. In fact, you could probably make lots of different things with it, but today it's a little beach hut. So to fill in the space behind the door, which does open, so you can obviously glue it closed if you want to. I'm gonna leave it open today. Um, I'm just taking a piece of scrap colored cardstock that I had or colored paper, pattern paper, and just attaching that so that it's not completely um, blank when you open the little door. And because I was feeling lazy today, I decided not to bother doing an ink, ink blended background. So I just took um, this piece. This is a piece of lawn fawn, perfectly plaid paper, I believe. It was a freebie that came with um, one of my, my purchases from them. And I've cut it to a standard size, five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I've just taken this scrap piece. This comes from the Dandy Day paper pack and I've um, used that as my sand. Then I've taken the sentiment, Hey Girlfriend, and stamped that on top using some Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And now I'm going to kind of figure out where everything's gonna go. 
So I kind of wanted to figure out, as I say, I didn't have a plan. So I wanted to figure out where everything was going to go. Um, I did know that I wanted to put this little kind of sandcastle cake inside my beach hut. So that that was kind of the little surprise that you got when you opened the door. So I did go ahead and stick that inside. I'm using my Barely Art Precision Glue for all of my gluing today. Um, I love this glue. It's fantastic. Um, so I want to put this little guy on top of my beach hat. So I am going to go ahead and adhere my beach hat down where I want it. I was kind of figuring out the placement. I wanted it low enough down my card so that this little guy can sit on the top without being cut off. So I wanted to make sure that he fit in. And then I'll go ahead and add the kind of little um, door stoop part. Um, I'm not really sure what to call that. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. Um, so I'm just going to add that underneath the door and try and center that up um, in the middle of my beach hut as best as possible. So once that's down, it's just a case of placing everything else down to try and figure out where it's going to go. So I wanted this guy to stand on my bucket with the spade leaning against it. Um, initially, this I was going to use all of my pieces, but um, as I say, it kind of it didn't fit. There wasn't enough room. So in the end, I got rid of the crab and the hermit crab. Um, just I just couldn't fit everything in. It was looking a little overcrowded. So I spent a little while kind of moving things around, trying to figure out where I was going to put everything. Um, but as I say, in the end, I kind of just felt I'd go with the goals um, because they worked with the sentiment that I'd put down um, and I would leave it at that. I knew I wanted to use this frame as well. So this comes from the Birthday Trio Frames A2 sized die that I have from Heffy Doodle. And what I'm doing is I'm just removing those center pieces um, so that I just have a frame to go all the way around the outside. Um, and I just thought that kind of finished the card off quite nicely. So um, once I'd put that down, I, I kind of realized that I wasn't gonna have enough room for that little crab or hermit crab. So I kind of moved them out of the way and then started figuring out where everything was going to go, um, kind of playing around with the placement before I actually glue everything down because I don't want to glue things down and then find that it's not going to work. And so once everything was um, in the right place, I went ahead and stuck everything down. Um, initially, I was going to use my Barely Art Precision Glue for this frame, but I decided to use my tape runner instead, um, just because it's probably slightly less messy for me. I tend to get glue everywhere. Um, I'm not a particularly um, coordinated crafter, so um, sometimes tape runner works best for me, and so I decided to use that for my frame. Um, I will use my Barely Art Precision Glue for all of my little images um, just because it works really, really well. Comes out nice and fine, so I don't get huge big globs of glue. Um, so that's what I use to attach everything else down. I'm just creating a flat card today. Um, I wanted something, I, I really just wanted to get back into my craft room and make something. So I was going for kind of quick and easy today, um, no ink blending in my background. I just used pattern paper instead. Um, and yeah, I just, just wanted to feel like I was creating something because um, it's the school holidays. You probably hear lots of noise in the background of this video. My kids are running around. It's kind of quite chaotic. <laughs> Um, so it's just nice to find some time to sit in my craft room and create. Uh, so that's what today was all about, really. Um, so once I finished attaching everything down, I got a standard sized white card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. And I created a top folding card base for this card. And I've stamped a couple of little, um, uh, well, an image and a little sentiment on the inside. So I found the Heffy Doodle Wingman stamp set um, in my stash, which has this great little sentiment that says, Happy Bird Day. And then I used one of my other little seagulls to stamp inside. And now I'm just going to go ahead and attach my card panel onto my card base. I'm using my Lawn Fawn Jumbo glue tube 
<laughs> get that out then, um, to attach that down. I like using this glue for my card bases. It comes out a little bit thicker um, and I tend to get it everywhere, but um, it's good for using on card bases. It holds everything nice and firm. And that's it. My card is complete. So I had a lot of fun making this today. It was really nice to get back into my craft room. Please do let me know what you thought of it. Leave a comment down below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please do subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you come back again. Here's another video that I think you might enjoy. Um, I hope to see you come back again. Thank you so much. Take care.